Hello everyone, I'm Caroline and welcome to my home on the hillside here in Wales and today we're going to have a haul video. I spent about £10 and I usually show you my thrift store finds but today I'm going to show you just these that are from a new shop and they were on 75% off. Well, it's 75% off. Straight away they had me. I was tempted to have a rummage. Now, some of them do have a little bit of an issue. Here, you can see this is coming off the petal or the leaf. But that's not a problem. I can glue that back on easily. So you can see they were that way up, 2 99 So I had that for 75p. Now, some of them are a little bit bent here. But I have figured out that if you put your nail in the dip side and run it, two or three times up it straightens them out so i can sort all that too and these i'm going to use these for uh, putting on a christmas tree i'm going to make a tree topper or something so that's going to be a lot of fun and they're so beautiful they'll need fluffing out and opening up i don't want to do that just yet because they're going to have to go into storage and i also got this one i can take the plastic off it I had to be careful because, have, because some were quite badly damaged and so it wasn't worth buying those if they had lots of pieces missing. But some like this, they, they may be one or two little bits of damage that I just have to sort out like wonky tops. That's not a problem. Now this one was one ninety nine, so I got this for 50p. Now I wouldn't expect to find this in a, a thrift store or a charity shop for 50p. So that's why I decided to include it in this haul because it is even better than thrift store prices so i love them they're very they're bling yes they are very over the top not what you would put on a traditional tree but i am going to be doing some christmas tree items nearer to christmas and so these are going to come in very useful right let's move on and go back to thrift store vines vines i didn't know what to say buys or fines now i got this tab of buttons if I turn it round there, 50p for all those buttons. So I was very pleased with that. Let's open them up and have a little look at some of them. I can put them out on here. So there are some plain and boring. I won't take them all out. But they've got some really nice, we've got these like 50p shaped ones and some pretty coloured ones. I've got a daisy. And there are quite a few of these oval ones. Now, these to me look like cameos. If I put those down. I think they will go lovely on something that looks quite Victorian. So I think they're beautiful. And there are there's some other colours. There we go. You've got the blue one. You've got a, like an ivory white. I don't know if there are any more. And then if I spread them out. We've got a little kitten, a little panda. And there's another pretty one, and that is another little panda. Oh, we've got a panda theme going here. We, on here, we've even got a Mexican panda in a sombrero. Well, what more could you want for 50p? So, right, um, I think I'll just slide these to the side and put them in the tub later. But that 50p, I was over the moon with that. I saw the tub and I was walking towards it thinking, mm, I wonder how much they're charging for that. $1.99, $2.99. Nope. <laughs> as soon as I thought, saw 50p, I picked it up. Right, I've got some fabric now that I'm going to show you. I do like to buy my fabric from charity shops or thrift stores. And by buying something like a quilt cover, you generally get a coordinating fabric with it. So I've got quite a large amount of fabric and it's this like French looking, I can't remember the name for this now, this fabric with this pattern on. And on the back, I've got this, which looks a bit like ticking. So I've got such a lot of fabric here. I haven't even checked to see if it's a single or a double. Ah, here we go. It's from Marks and Spencers and it is indigo. And do they say if it's single or double? No, I've got a spare button if that helps. <laughs> and it's a poly cotton, but it's only 20% polyester. 50% polyester I never pick up because I don't think it's got the drape that I like for making the craft, the craft things I like making. I don't think it goes well on bows or wreaths or anything like that. But this is lovely and I'll be doing something with this because, believe it or not, you can even use the edging of an old quilt when you're doing something. So keep an eye out for that craft video. I'll be showing you what you can do with that. 
but that will be a while yet so i'm going to pop that down there and we'll move on to the next item and the next thing is one lampshade two lampshades it's not very central is it and if i turn them up that way they're very grubby i'm going to show you that Ooh, they're going to need a good wash but the price was what drew me in 50p each now i'm going to make some flowers from glass in the summer to put in the garden but i've been looking at these and turning them round and trying them together all the different things you can do and i may not use these for flowers although they'll make beautiful flowers i'm wondering whether to use them as risers because they're so gorgeous and they're pinks and whites and i, I just think that's so pretty and very sort of french country so i'm possibly going to use them as risers possibly as flowers but i know they will definitely be used and a pound for the two where well, you can't go wrong i think the reason why they weren't selling was because these probably came off a light fitting with three on so two isn't any good but i'm happy with two and if you had two wall lights they'd be perfect right other things came in twos and they were glass too and that's these little i'll pop those down there carefully these little vases and they're hanging ones so i'm not sure whether they were designed to be used in the garden the garden perhaps as um things for catching flies and things people put sugary syrup in the bottom but they're too open for that i think so i'm not quite sure what they were designed as you can see they were 50p nobody wanted them 25p i thought yep i'll have those at 25p they would go if i get one of these out again they would go into the centre of the like a flower. So if I do decide to use these as flowers, they make beautiful flower centres. Or, oops, take them out. As usual, you could use them as a riser. Let's have a look what I've got. I've got my roll of jute. Could use it as a riser like that. I think it would be too unstable that way. It could make a glass hot air balloon. That would be pretty. And what if we join the two together? I always like to try joining the same things together. Oh, I tell you what that looks like. One of those hourglasses. Oh, yes, that would be a bit of fun. And if we try it that way. Mm, no, I can't think. I suppose it does look a little bit like an oil lamp. But I don't think that's how I'll use it. But then again, you know me. <laughs> I could change my mind at any moment. Oh, I can pop those there and I'll get the next thing out more florals now i always pick up reduced florals because i don't like paying full price for them and this was 199 including the vase but they're these gorgeous peonies now peonies are so expensive to buy so i got one two three full ones and little bits and pieces in it i've got three buds some of this i think i've got three of that no yep three of those not sure what they are, some sort of berry. So look at that. And then if I can get the resin out of the bottom here, then I'll have a vase to make something with too. Whoops, that one fell off. Now, some people have said it may be worth trying to warm this with a hairdryer so that it'll come out. We'll give it the traditional tug to see if it's going to come out. Oh, I don't think that is going to. Only once I've successfully managed to pull this sort of thing out. No, that's not going anywhere. I think the problem is all these rocks. There's no movement in it at all, no flexibility. So I will try heating that with a hairdryer and see if that helps. If not, then I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cut them very far down, but I'll find a way. All right, so if I pop this there and get you, I'm getting there. This. This was 50p. Look at that. Oh, perfect for Christmas. And I have got here got this bag of cinnamon sticks that I keep around my desk because it smells so lovely. If it was just the holly, you could put that there. Or there and straight away, doesn't that look festive? You could use a holly berry on the end of the nose there and turn it into Rudolph. <laughs> and obviously, you'd have to take the rest of it off. Rudolph doesn't look like that. For 50p, I thought, yep, that is going to look lovely, either in a Christmas decoration or even on a Christmas wreath. Have it stood on the bottom of the wreath. I think that would look lovely too. So, 50p, I was very pleased with that. 
All right, let's move on to my next item. It's this. It's from Ikea. If I turn it that way, you can see. Can't see a name on it. They have very strange names. But if I turn it up this way, it cost me 50p. Now, it's got a lovely a draw pull with a little label section on. I love that anyway. So that will be coming off because I do have a plan for these. Now, if I turn it this way to show you, oh, if I turn it that way and just imagine, no, I'll turn it back this way. I'm thinking of making a lantern with this and put in a glass vase. I don't think I've got anything. The only thing I've got in here, this glass has got water in it. If I lie that down, it's going to get very messy. Oh, I do have this. Now imagine that this is much bigger. <laughs> Do your best. And so I could put that in there with a candle in the bottom and then put a floral decoration around or a Christmas decoration around. On the top there, I could put something that looks much more like the top of a lantern. Or I could just put it as a floral decoration or even I could put in like a little diorama. Oh, with a reindeer in it with something festive like a tree or something behind so that i think's got a lot of potential now there's only one thing that's better than finding one of these for 50p and what do you think that is if i move that there it may give you a clue and if i lean over here <laughs> it's finding two of them for 50p now i think they're supposed to stack not sure i suppose you could stack them i won't be stacking them now I've got the alternative that I can either make two matching lamps and lanterns or I could do completely opposite or I wonder if I could extend this lengthwise. Let's have a look. If we put the... Oh, there's a noisy motorbike going past. If I could do that. But if I could take this piece of wood out and join these bars to each other, then maybe... I'm not very optimistic, but maybe we could make a really tall lantern because those big tall lanterns are very fashionable at the moment. So I can give that a try, but I get the feeling the ends are going to be wrong here, so they're not going to join up. But, you know me, I'll always give it a try. And I think they'll come apart anyway, so yes, these sure. I should be able to take these apart quite easily, and then I can just fiddle around and see what happens, see if I can get them to be the right size or shape for what i want to make but if not they're perfect as they are so i'm very happy with those i don't think i'll paint these i think i'll keep them this wood color probably put some wax on i'm not sure if i'll put a white wax or a clear wax probably clear i think they're lovely and because wood is coming back in then i think that's a really good excuse to make the most of the grain because the grain on these is absolutely gorgeous i think it's solid i don't think it's a veneer so that's very pleasant Right, I'm going to have to put these down now so I may disappear off screen and sound far away for a second. There we go, that's those out of the way. And the next thing is, ta-da, it's a lampshade. And the price was £1. Now this may look like a very small lampshade for a pound, but I've been looking for one like this. And it's got a particular thing for it that I wanted. And if we turn it upside down, it's got one of those. So you get your light bulb, we pretend this is a light bulb, you put it in your lamp and then you pop that on there and it supports itself. So that is what I was looking for because I've got a lamp stand that I'm going to work on for craft, but I needed something like this to go on the top. And so I ideally I'd have liked to pay 50p, yes, <laughs> because it's so small, but it's a really nice quality one. You see the tacking on here? I think they've done a lovely job with that. So... It is perfect for my needs. So I'm happy to pay a pound for that. And I'm really looking forward to getting started on that. It's held me off. I couldn't do anything with this lamp until I found one of these. And now I've got one. So that, funnily enough, was one of the most exciting things from this haul. So I'll put this down. And I think you'll love what's coming next. It's the bottom. Is it a little candlestick? Well, it can't be that little. <laughs> There's more of it. Look at that. Oh, I love this. Now, it has got some issues. It's been painted red. 
with like a glass paint, I assume, and it's scratched off in quite a few places. But then if I turn it this way, this is the most interesting part of it. It's this little sticker here that says it was one ninety nine, and because it was scratched, nobody wanted it. So I had it for 99p. Now, the decision now is, do I keep this red colour, see if I can get some red glass paint and touch this up? Do I distress it more? And you've got this, let's see if it'll pick up on the camera, this scratching here. Well, I could do more of that scratching and there's a bit down there. Lots of bits really are scratched. And then it would look good without, I could keep this colour but have the distress in. I could go over the top with a dry brush effect with something, perhaps a metallic gold. Not really sure. I don't think that's going to give the look I want to give. Now, let's have a look where it was from. Simic, wherever that is. Made in India. But that is going to be lovely. Yes, I could use it as a gigantic riser. I could put a candle in it. I think it's a bit, mm, it's a bit too rounded on the bottom for a candle. So I could put something up flat on the top. Oh, I wonder what it would look like if I pop that in there. No, that's not working. Ooh, what if I pop it that way around? No, that's not working either. But still, when you get something like this, give it a try. Try everything you've got. Try all the different alternatives. I mean, you could even try. It's not going to work, but ooh, turn that up that way. Pop it in there. <laughs> you could put that on, couldn't you? That would look very um, unusual. An acquired taste. But it does fit. So what I'm thinking I may do with this, looking at it now, is I may put a thinner candle in and then wedge things around it so it supports that thinner candle and then put like a flower display around here of Christmas items with lots of dangling foliage, things like that. It would, I suppose I could cut a circle that would fit in the bottom flat and then put just a votive in the bottom there. It would look pretty, but I just, it, this is so fancy. I just envision this with lots of flowing, interesting bits coming down the side and looking really lovely and spectacular and, and festive. Oh, now I'm thinking, oh, I'd love to put a red and white stripy bow here with long dangly tails. That would look lovely too. Oh, yeah, and with a little something on the middle. Probably pine cones, but that look would look quite nice too. So that I'm really pleased with. Oh, if I had to pick my favourite buy of the week, I don't know what it would be. What would your favourite buy be? Which one would you prefer? What we had the buttons and we had the green jars and there was, trying to see it all now, these, the glass lampshades, the fabric lampshade, the reindeer, or would it be the vase of peonies? Oh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think was the best. Uh, looking now, I think mm, this is winning for me. It's big. <laughs> I like value for money, so, but also the colour. I do love red. And so that, my whole house, you wouldn't believe it. I've got all, I make lots of lovely farmhouse things, but the main theme of my house is black, white, red and grey. <laughs> so that will fit in perfectly with my deco and with a traditional Christmas lock. Oh, that is going to be lovely. So, yep, I think that's the winner for me. I'm going with this vase, but please do let me know which one is your favourite buy of the week. Well, I'll see you all next time. But before you go, up here, I'll put a link to my other haul videos. So if you've enjoyed this haul video, and if you check sort of there-ish, there'll be a playlist of other haul videos that you may enjoy. And I'll see you all next time. But until then, don't forget, have fun. Bye.